Hello, my name is Ryan Laferni. I am a reference librarian here at the Avon Washington Township Public Library. And today in this book talk, I'm going to share with you a couple books that I've read recently and really loved. And um, maybe you would like to read them too. So I'll start with my fiction choices. First up is John Scalzi's latest, The Last Emperor. I'm not entirely sure if I'm saying that correct. Um, but The Last Emperor is the thrilling conclusion to the award-winning New York Times and USA Today best-selling interdependency series. It's an epic space opera adventure that is about the collapse of society and it is full of political intrigue and it has the trademark wit that you come to expect from Scouts. It's perfect for fans of Dune by Frank Herbert or the Expanse series of James S. A. Corey. Next up is a little tiny novella. You could read this in one sitting. It's All Systems Read by Martha Wells. It's the first novella in the Murderbot Diary series and it's a charming and wonderful little book. All Systems Red is an action-packed cerebral science fiction series about a self-hacking robot searching for the meaning of life. And this robot is just a coot. Um, he makes Marvin from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy look uh, like the depressed robot he really is. Um, the book swept the Hugo and Nubella rather, and Locust Awards and was a New York Times and USA Today bestseller a few years ago. So next up is my nonfiction choices. Um, Shoot for the Moon, The Space Race and the Extraordinary Voyage of Apollo 11 by James Donovan was published last year, and it's really, really wonderful. I'm sure you're aware that last year also marked the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. This book chronicles the story of this superior achievement. It's gripping and wonderfully detailed, and it looks at the science, the engineering, the clashing egos, um, the Cold War politics that went behind the most famous Apollo trip. It's perfect for history buffs and fans of NASA. I'm a, so besides being a big uh, space fan, I'm a big fan of superheroes and pop culture in general, and I'm a big Batman fan. So I really enjoyed Glenn Weldon's The Caped Crusade, which is a fascinating, critically acclaimed chronicle of the rises and falls of one of the world's most iconic superheroes and fans who love him. Um, well, then explores the history and legacy of Batman with his trademark insight and wit. You might know him if you listen to NPR's Pop Culture Happy Hour. He's a commentator on there. Um, so if you're interested in superheroes or pop culture, this is the book for you. And next up, speaking of Batman, um, is my comic book pick, it, it, or graphic novel, rather, is um, this classic, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, written by Frank Miller. It's one of the most important pieces of comic art ever published. Um, the Dark Knight Returns basically gave birth to the modern era of adult-oriented superhero storytelling. It's gritty, it's dark. The series finds Batman returning 10 years after his retirement to a near-future Gotham City gone to criminals are running everywhere, and um, the famous clash between Superman and Batman happens in this miniseries. It's a very important work and is suitable for mature teens and adults. Um, and uh, I'll take this moment to let you know that we do have adult graphic novels featured in our nonfiction collection in the Seven for Wands. You can find this and many other um, more mature titles there. So those are my picks. Look for more book talks from librarians here at the library in the near future. Don't forget that we offer readers advisory services. Um, even while the library may be physically closed, we're happy to help you find a book to read. Um, feel free to email us at reference at avonlibrary.net with the, send us a list of books you've liked, what you read recently, what you liked about them. Um, tell us what you didn't like about some books you read recently. Um, give us any trigger warnings. Let us know if you don't like violence in your books, if you don't like cursing, et cetera. Um, we want to provide you with books that are gonna, you're going to enjoy and that will make you happy. And um, we'll send you a personalized uh, reading list curated from our very own collection. So thanks for uh, watching and um, happy reading.